Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me in my Erin Condren. We're getting a bit fat now, <laughs> bit uneven, but that's all right. Coming to the end of the year, which is just crazy to think about. So this week is September 11 to 17, and I am using this mini kit from Caress Press. This is on her old, um, not an old, but I don't buy it anymore, her matte vinyl, which is gorgeous and so worth it and I love it but it shrinks because I don't use everything in season when she brings it out so by the time I do use it it's too small to nicely fit in the boxes so I'm using this as soon as possible so this is why I'm using it this week uh, plus it's fun and springy and bright and colorful so this is the May Mystery Kit, it's called 80s Girl. Um, so you just have these really cool full boxes. I love the girls by it back. This is the mini kit. So then you get the normal functional page. Then you get this page with some hot boxes, quarter boxes, um, scout labels, a couple of headers. One have a track of build you. Um, and one set of like checklist and weekly box then you get the some washi some bottom washi and some deco and the flags and then um because it was a mystery kit you also got this sort of bonus sheet with lots of glitter items in a box and you also got glitter headers um the main thing i hate shrinking on our paper is the headers because then you just see all the black come through so that's why i want to use it now I just realized this only has one habit track and I usually like to do multiple habits. So even though this is matte, um, we have to bring out some different habit trackers. So let's have a look. Might as well just have a long plan with me today and just do this all together. So grab something to drink and have a snack or just play this on and off if you want. That's what I do. It's long. I spread it out. So I do have these ones from Scribble Prince Co. from her summer line. Um, there's bound to be some color in here that works. Maybe. <laughs> now what about her original line? I guess the like mm, she doesn't have the quite the same sort of neon. There's also bring in this medication one. Not exactly what I want. What about Little Miss Papery? Um, it's not as bright a yellow. How about if I used the these ones? Such a hard. The mint kind of works, and then the yellow. So maybe I'll use these um, Little Miss Papery ones. They're in glossy. Because I don't think the colors quite work with the matte. So I'll just have to use the glossy Little Miss Paper re ones. I think that's all I need to add extra for my functional. We can always whip out that binder later. Sorry if my mic goes in and out. I've been having, I've been noticing some issues with it. Um, let's just get into planning, shall we? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have glitter headers, of course. I'm going to put the full boxes through the middle, and so I'm going to do that again. And then I'm going to put probably shortened checklists um, spread out. So that's what we're going to do. I guess I should say up front now, it's going to be long, but if you stay to the end, there is a giveaway. So um, make sure you stay to the end or... You can zoom through and go right to the end if you want, but there will be a kit giveaway at the end. So, look out for that. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to put down these, this bottom washi with the gap. What was I going to say? I was saying something before I mentioned the giveaway. <laughs> of course I've forgotten it now. But yeah, I just like having the way the full boxes look. Not having too many to do's through the week, although I'm hoping to get back into action this week because it's been not so good. Because I'm here already, I'm gonna put these 
adorable flags in the sides, the top. They, I just, uh, I wish it was more of this, like this rainbow with the um, little touches of glitter. So, so pretty. I just love the rainbow colors in this. So that's that. Um, no, I was talking about the mi the microphone. I find that every now and then if I moved my head a certain way, this of course is going to go up in the corner. Now do I want this girl or this girl? I'm not particularly a fan of either of them to be honest. Hmm. I do want something in the sidebar because we're limited with this. So I think I'm going to use the girl with the pretty natural hair. Because the claw machines just make me angry. <laughs> I can never do them. I think I'm going to put this on Saturday. Just because I can. Uh, but yeah, I find that I position my head a certain way. I'm just using the camera, um, my camera's microphone, and I suddenly get a bit muffled. So, I don't know. I don't know. So I realize these are, have background colors, so that's aqua. I'm going to spread out this yellow. One. Another bright yellow. I think this kit is really cute. I was born in '88, so I'm really a um, really a '90s girl, but an '80s baby. <laughs> but uh, I grew up still with plenty of culture from the '80s, you know. So I know all this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one here because we have the aqua background box on the other side aqua or mint um, then I think I'm gonna put the cars in the middle with the sort of gradient background this um, this artwork actually makes me think of um, oh, what are they called? what was the film called? it's got Jim Carrey in it and Gina Davis and it's like Earth Girls Are Easy or something Men Are From Mars anyway they crash down in Gina's um, pool and they're just like weird aliens and one's like I think it's Damon Wayans and the others um, and then one's uh, what's uh, I love him but what's his name <laughs> name Jim Carrey and then of course you have Jeff Goldblum and they're the weird aliens and everything is like so ridiculously 80s and over the top. I love that film. I think it's Earth Girls Are Easy. <laughs> um, which is a ridiculous title, but yeah. So with the glitter headers, I just put the full box down at the top. So what should I do with the glitter headers, guys? Uh, don't want to include the yellow. I'm not sure I like these dark pockets in the yellow. Mm, but there isn't a lot of yellow in it. So I think I'm going to do yellow. I think I'm going to cut out the pink because there's a lot of pink down the bottom. So I think this part I'm going to zoom through because it's going to take a while. Um, but then I will be right back.
So I can't remember if I adjusted the exposure for that second lot of glitter headers. But if not, I'm sorry if I went a weird dark color. But anyway, glitter headers are down and I really, really love it. I thought it was a good choice to put in the yellow instead of pink. So there's a lot of pink down here, a lot of pink within each box. So, and this is weird, both yellow boxes had <laughs> glitter, yellow glitter headers on the bottom. But we're getting through this plan with me, so let's get into the sidebar. And I'm sorry if there's a weird angle with my filming, um, but I think I messed up my tripod when I, um, when I went, took it overseas. So I'm going to use some um, habit trackers. They're not quite as bright. I wish the pink was brighter. But oh well. Um, hmm, what are the header colors? Okay. Maybe like that. And then let's do the glitter, pink glitter headers in the sidebar so they don't go to waste because they're gonna shrink. So yeah, I just, I don't know, I wanted um, three habits this week. So medication, well, the pill, because <laughs> I'm responsible, then teeth. And then what was this one? Something else. I'm, I'm putting something else there. I can't remember what. Um, and then we're going to put another glitter header. I'm going to make sure that we can fit both of these cause in full because this checklist is too cute. It'll be a squeeze. Maybe if we put this up above a little, I think that'll be alright. That is not straight. Look, it's ripping the page. That's a little better. So that will be for something, <laughs> the weekly stuff. Just going with the flow, you guys. Hopefully it's in focus and then we'll overlap a little again for this box. So I fit it all in in the end. It's not perfect. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. <laughs> but it's all in in the end. It's, I prefer to have this slightly straighter. Oh well, that's as straight as I'm going to get it. But there's a sidebar. I'm not too happy with this, but I don't think there's, I have much other options. So that's alright. So here we go, we're going to do Monday. Oh wait, I should probably get my checklist down. I'm just going to cut off. I'm going to cut them down to three. Because I find that's the best number for me. So just cut straight through the paper and I think I'm gonna put this one down the bottom so this will be my little to-do section um, and I usually my biggest to-do on Monday is usually dishes and she usually has a dishes oh there it is little dishes icon so I'll just put that here in the side and then I want to use a new sticker that I made for myself and it is Coffee Monday. What font do I want to use? I made it pretty small so I could, you know, do it over stuff and fit coffee cups with it. Um, I think I want to use the fancy sweater font. I think I'm going to use some washi with it. So the cup looks like that. So yeah, I'm going to use this washi with the cars. Should put this at the top. Now, um, 
I'm still not 100% um, on my plans for last week pretty much all got ruined because I went to the doctor on Monday because it wasn't um, exactly I don't know I just it wasn't exactly where I wanted it and so I, I'm currently on a second um, lot of antibiotics so sadly you can see all my plans got cancelled and I haven't been to work again this week so I want to on Monday because there's um on his presentations on Monday and I'd love to support them but we'll see so I'm not putting work in this week again but I'm gonna try for Monday hopefully I'll be better then and then I am actually going out Tuesday night so we'll do that in a second because I gotta put in a bill um Twin Peaks is over so no more no more TV on Mondays huh Oh, it's the Twin Peaks finale. Oh my god. It's a double part of two episodes. And yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> you kind of finish and you're like, oh. But it was like, you kind of had to sleep on the ending, I think. Because it was pretty much like, whoa, in your face. Um, and yeah, it's it's divided people a lot I'll just say that but it's David Lynch he was never going to give us actual answers you know what I mean like he wasn't going to give us resolutions <laughs> he gave us a bit in the first episode and in the second it's just kind of like whoa surrealism um see that was the Twin Peaks finale I won't go into any details because if, if you guys want to watch the whole show you got it. It's it's a masterpiece. Best show of 2017. I'm saying it. Not Game of Thrones. It was Twin Peaks. But <laughs> it was the TV event of the year. But I digress. Um, so there aren't any little things at all in this mini kit. So how am I going to mark my videos? Because I have at least three. Um, I could use a thick pen and do it on these glitter headers. I just feel like it's too much glitter and then too much blah -de blah Well, I have four quarter boxes, so I guess they're going to be my video posts. Should put that there and then in the white space whatever comes up that day I can put down there and I'm going to use these Clever Girl Craft um, bows and this is in the Millie colorway and I think I'm going to use a selection of them maybe just purple but we'll see because purple is my favorite so just a gold bow like this and I should say this bill is for Scribble Prince Co monthly um, but that is everything for Monday. I think it's looking really cute. Tuesday is my big thing. Tuesday night. So let me have a look. I got my um got my once more with love sticker books here and I want to use this concert going one. I know it's not entirely matching, but it's grey, so I think you know, it works. Maybe I'll put some washi behind it. But I am actually, this is why I've been really trying to get my um, stuff better because I'm going to see AFI, one of my all time favorite bands, um, live. So yeah, they're finally coming to Adelaide. I don't think they've been here for like 10 years or something. And I think before that, they, they went to a music festival and I wasn't going to go just for them and before that they only went to the um, East Coast so this is my first time ever seeing them live and I'm so excited so I had to use these special concert munchkins to mark that because I'm so excited I love AFI I've listened to them non-stop 
And I'm just going to do the rest of this while I tell you a little story um, based on um, AFI, but uh, so basically I, th I still remember distinctly the day I got their first album that I listened to. So this was around Sing the Sorrow was coming out. And I was really into the single on MTV, um, which, not MTV, Channel V, that's our version. Before we got MTV, we had Channel V, and looking for the TV on here, sorry. Um, but no, we got, and Girls Not Grey came out, and I thought it was an awesome single. This band seems really awesome. <laughs> it's a damn TV. Um... I'm going to use the half box. And, and I was just really, really excited uh, about this band because I really, really like the song. But, you know, that's it was in the past, uh, a few, quite a few years ago. I was in high school at the time, early high school. And, um, let me have a look here. Where's my, here we go. So I'll keep going with the story, but yeah, I was in high school and I basically I had to take the bus from my school to town to meet up with my parents so I could catch the train with them to go home. And we met up in town, did some shopping, and we were in Woolworths, which is a grocery sh grocery store um, chain. And they had like a little CD section and I saw the Sing the Sorrow album. I was like, Mom, can you buy this for me? I want it. <laughs> and my mom's pretty cool, so she bought it for me. <laughs> and um, and so this was back in the day, as I said. So I actually had a, um, a Discman. I had a really cool Discman. It was transparent and blue. <laughs> So we got on the train and I popped in my new CD, Sing the Sorrow, and sort of it started, it has like an intro track if you've never listened, um, where it just sort of rises up and the music rises up and it goes, you know, <laughs> we are bleeding, we are one. Or is that the initiation one? But anyway, Misery Cantera has this whole, that's what it's called, has this whole thing about now we are one, we're part of the family. You know, it has this really welcoming intro that, but this is a thing and my mind just was blown. I was just so into it. Um, I just didn't know what I was even listening to. I was just... And I think that, I always remember that moment on the train because it was totally like a life-changing moment. You know those moments where you get like a soundtrack and music means a lot to me, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, you know, I listen to music all the time and just that, that's one of those turning moments in your life. And ever since then, hmm, maybe I was... I was like 14, 15, and I just, when I heard that intro tra um, track just build up and the chanting, and then right into the music, um, the leaving part, uh, leaving song part two, I believe it was. I know, I was just, my life was changed. I, I still listen to that song, or I still listen to that album almost daily, at least weekly, and for like two years, all my art was based off AFI. I bought all their albums. I don't know, they just became, just became my life, you know? <laughs> and I loved them, and that's why I'm so excited to see them live. But, I just, I just thought I'd tell you a little story about me. Um, just being real, getting it out there. But, I don't know if it was, too much information, but it was just, it's one of those soundtracks in my life that will always, always be important to me. So we have Payday, so we have a little Payday thing, but I don't think it's 
big enough to be honest. So I'm gonna put a little dollar sign next to it. Even though it's like yellow in that section. Um, so yeah, actually I'll get into the giveaway now but then I'll repeat myself at the end in case people um, skip through. But my giveaway is for a kit. It's a Halloween kit. It is the Boo Ultimate Kit from last year. Andrea and everyone keep saying they only did a mini, but they forget they did do a pre-sale Ultimate. Just saying, I've got it. So I'm giving away this one because I bought a reformat. So you can get this kit sent to you. And what I want as an entry is your comment to subscribe, like the video, comment below what was an album that was like life changing in your teenage years for you. So not just a song, a whole album I think that was just, it's part of your teenagehood, right? It's like growing up or something like that. <laughs> so that's why I want you to leave a comment down below if you need, it's of course, it's written down below what, to, what the prompt is for the comment. Um, but if you kind of missed it just then. But yeah, just look in the description box. Tell me what your, like, one of the important albums of your teenagehood. It doesn't, I know we probably have a few, and I do have a few myself, so. Um, just this one that you really think about and maybe you still love it. That'd be really awesome. Let me know about your, your first, or one of your teenage albums. So... Um, after the story time, I just put in a half box in the TV icon here because it is the finale of Preacher. So I have to mark that in special. I've got a video on Wednesday and that's about it. Thursday, I want to make sure I do my midweek thing and it's payday. And then half box because my dad is coming over. I'm just going to pick up Glam Planner sticker book because um, I got in here again. Yeah. The sort of dad and the dad visiting kind of picture that um, teenies that she did for Father's Day. I'll put that in there just because my dad is coming over. He has a procedure in the morning and he can't be like left alone for the afternoon. So I'm going to um, babysit him. <laughs> well, not babysit my dad, but just hang out, watch some TV, keep an eye on him um, as you do, make sure he's all good uh, I think that's it for Thursday mm, I don't know if I'm going to do that other video or not so I'm just going to leave it for now Friday I'm definitely doing this video I'm definitely having a video so I'll put that in this is where I was, yeah and then just using the purple Millie bows. Oh my god, I should really just like message her and ask, can I have a whole sheet of this purple? <laughs> purple is my favorite. All right, I gotta have a drink after that story time. The only thing that makes me sad is I have some AFI vinyls, but it's like impossible to get this, the um the song song sound of song of sorrow. <laughs> I've already forgotten the album name, but anyway, Sing the Sorrow. It's like impossible to get it on vinyl because they did a very limited release when it came out. So I'd love to have the vinyl of that though. That'd be sweet. Um, get the checklist in. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna put paint nails here on the Friday list. I do love her little icons. Hmm. So Friday I might be going in. I want to because I should be like better better than Ryan. So we do have there is a history seminar on Friday so I might put a little reminder of that. So I'm like, I should go. I've got, I've got a thing I can go to, and I'm gonna match. And I made these little work, uh, word ones as well, and I'm gonna match the font that I did. 
before. Um, that I did for the Coffee Monday. I made these really small so I could pair them with other stickers or put them into do lists. Is there, uh, I might just use this little clock. So I reminded of that and then I might, if I go to the seminar then I'll obviously see my friend Rachel so I'll just leave that blank so I can include that there. But then I just realized it will be an all I don't want it sort of clashing with my bow but I don't think this is going to work in taking it off because it's caress press my vinyl nope it's not going to come off it's kind of merged with the scallop underneath so <laughs> um, no, don't mind it won't be that bad because the bow is within the quarter box We'll live with it. <laughs> so that's Friday. Do you have anything else? I have another bill. Arr. But there's only one bill in this kit. Let's have a look. This is the 15th, so it's the Caress Press Mystery Kit. Um, I got my bills. I think I've got some. Hey, I got a purple Caress Press mat. Bill, so I'm going to use that. I think it might be slightly different, but sorry, I gotta like um, it's pretty much the same, it's just thinner. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to put that down the bottom here on Friday. So that's caress press. Then I'm going to be very broke after this. Well, luckily, it's payday before this one. Yes. <laughs> so it's Saturday. I should get the weekend banner in here. Should I just do it at the top? Do it in the center. Um Maybe I'll just do it along the bottom here, but sort of going into the boxes. Cause I don't get as much done on weekends. So that's cute, and then I can actually put in my like two little to do's. Oh, good. I was just checking, like, had I missed a checklist? But no, there's um eight flags, so that's all right. I think so. You can either choose if you want like one color in the middle versus like just being told what color you had to have in the middle. So the weekend, oh shit. Sorry for my language, but Lachlan is leaving on Sunday. He is flying. This is a big week. He is flying to um, the U.S. He's going to a conference in Arizona. So if you have any recommendations in Tucson. Uh, I think it's Tucson. Yeah. It's going to Tucson. If you have any recommendations for food or whatever in Tucson around the university area, that would be so so cool i'm sure he'd appreciate any of those but i didn't realize so i didn't like <laughs> outline any um travel munchkins are they in book three no they're in another book does this have any flight no it doesn't have the flight tracker yeah, I totally forgot that it was this week that he was going to Arizona. My gosh. So these flying munchkins, and I might use the pink one. No, yeah. I'll use the green one. Because you don't always get to. So put that green one flying there. I can't believe it. What? He's going to be able to get pumpkin spice latte. He sucks. <laughs> And I know it's coming out here in Australia the end of September, but we don't have, there's no Starbucks in my town, so that sucks. Alright, so <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to put the little bags, um, I'm going to use another little, should I use a glitter quarter box instead? 
Um, I've already got, I don't know, I'll use the pink lab appointment label. I'm going to turn it this way. So in the to-do section, I can mark that he has to pack his bags. Boom. Of course, it comes with the perfect pack the bags thing. I think he's actually got a concert that night. Because, um, you know, he's the worst. <laughs> so I was going to use those, but I have this. Um, probably have to do a laundry day earlier in on in the week. So let's just go back in time and get ourselves a laundry day sticker. Jump put some washi on the bottom here in the to do's, and then just put the laundry day sticker there so you can have all his clean clothes for his trip. And I think that's all I'm marking. Can't believe he's going. Anyway, oh. There's, there's a CP, so I don't know when her new releases are at the moment. So anyway, I think that's all I'm going to put in for now. Let's zoom out and have a look-see. So that is how the spread is going. But now, I want to put in the deco around the top. So I'm going to quickly go through that. Possibly, I think it's small enough I don't have to snap it up, cut it off. And I'll be right back to finish up and talk about the giveaway again. Okay guys, that is the finished spread. I'm just going to put this glitter quarter box up here actually because I totally forgot. Let's have a look in here. But it's actually on the 16th, it's one month until my birthday. And I'm going to see if I can add any nice pretty um, foiled things to mark my birthday. Countdown, maybe this pink. I got Halloween countdown. <laughs> maybe this pink will go. Just these little cute heart balloons. I'm just gonna put them here. This is from White Deer Stationery because, yeah, it's one month until my birthday. I will be 29. So almost the three year that's next year my gosh <laughs> that is the finished spread i'm going to fill it out a bit later um so i'm sorry for that but this video is probably already long enough so I'll quickly show you what i have left and we'll get into the giveaway again we have the little glitter extra we got one full box we have a whole bunch of functional stuff which of course i'll be keeping some glitter headers, some half boxes and things, and some few little bits of washi. So not too much, which is great. Gotta love a mini kit with plenty of deco. So I'm loving the way this kit is turning out. So let's get into the giveaway. Once again, this is the kit you will be winning. It is the Boo Ultimate Kit from last year. Andrea keeps saying she only made a mini, but it's not true. They did actually, by demand, um, do a pre-sale of an ultimate which I have here so you get the a selection of the deco and it's very similar to the current reformat that she just pre-sailed comes with glitter headers it's a full kit you will also get in the back I forgot to tell you but my leftovers from the mini kit 
So then you have little extra stickers here, a lot of it's little things, some checklist icons, a little bit of glitter, so you get a little extra as well, because I used the mini kit last year. But if you want to win this um, Halloween kit, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and leave a comment below of the, an album that was important to you in your teenage years. It was a life-changing moment. It's just something you've never stopped listening to. Just a really awesome album or band or song that meant a lot to you in your teenage years. The, you have It is open internationally. You have to be 18 or over to enter. So, you, you know, because you have to give me your address so I can send it to you. Yeah, so let me... I'm looking forward to seeing your entries and this will close pretty soon. I'll give it one week so my next plan with me, um, so next Monday, so you have the weekend to enter the 18th um, for Australia so it'll be like the 17th in America sometime. It will close and then I will contact the winner so make sure you're contactable. I will comment on your comment and I will try and DM you. But otherwise, yeah, and then I'll give you 24 hours to respond and then check, um, pick the next person. But yeah, let me know. I hope you guys enjoy the giveaway. I'm looking forward to seeing all your, um, all your albums of your teenagehood. Uh, if you like this video anyway, just give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more Plan With Me's, and I will see you next time. Bye!